Good day YouTube. This is a comparison video between Fedora on the left and Elementary OS on the right, so grab your Stein of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so starting off we have Fedora 33 on the left and Elementary OS 5.1 on the right. So starting off, uh, I would say that uh, Fedora is actually based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, as some of us may know there. It is the upstream latest release in a way, really. Whereas uh, Elementary OS is actually based on Ubuntu there. So it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, now, moving on, the desktop environments, they are a little bit different. So this is a little bit of an oranges to apples uh, scenario here. But on the left-hand side, Fedora is actually based on the GNOME 3.x environment, whereas Pantheon, although built on uh, certain libraries, is actually there. They're more of an in-house type of uh, uh, desktop environment called Pantheon there. In fact, I should probably say it's a little bit uh, Mac OS-esque in just the way that it is. Very, uh, I guess, XFCE or Mac or Mate Mate related there, but it is unique one way or another, the way that I'm trying to explain it. Uh, the file managers, if we were to look at them, on the left-hand side, we're running on the GNOME Files Manager, as you might expect for the GNOME interface here for uh, Fedora. Whereas on the right-hand side, if we load this puppy up here, we'll just do a quick look, and uh, it's actually very difficult to determine, I might firstly say there. I would say that it looks like Kaja or Thuna, a little bit more of a lightweight uh, uh, file manager there as well. If we move in a little bit further to the nitty gritty stuff, uh, we can see some interesting things here. So uh, the kernel for Fedora, uh, Fedora 33 is actually one of the latest and greatest, the 5.10 release, which is really nice to see. Whereas on the right hand side, we are dealing with a bit of an older kernel because it is based on Ubuntu. In fact, if I go to the sources list here, it's uh, yeah the, the long term service release Bionic there, a little bit older to say the least. Last but not least, though, is the uh, the RAM usage. So Fedora is known to be uh, using a little bit more RAM, 900 megabytes to 1,000 megabytes of RAM on boot up. Nothing booted up else in the in the background there. And then on the right hand side, it's a little bit nicer, easier on the RAM eyes. So it's using about 650 megabytes of RAM on boot up. Again, nothing else loaded up, just the operating systems themselves. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just a super simple, fun, quick look at two really nice operating systems. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button and I do hope to see you guys there in the next one.